Welcome to the Bettendorf Public Library's Take Home Workshop. Today we're going to be making these ribbon boards. It's a nifty little way of displaying photos or to-do lists in a way that doesn't damage your photos. You just slide them in between the ribbons. You can switch your photos out really easily. Let's take a look and see what's in our kit. You will find a 7 by 7 inch square of canvas. You will find a 5 inch embroidery hoop, an assortment of ribbons, we went with rainbow colors, white embroidery floss, we're using the full six strands, and you're going to find a needle. As we usually do, it's encased in a piece of straw, so you'll just snip off the end of that straw and slide your needle out. These are large needles, they're long, they have a large eye, and we did that again because we're using the full six strands of floss, and it's just much easier to thread if you have a large eye like that. What we're asking you to provide is a pair of scissors, a pencil, a ruler, and some tape. Our first step is we're going to make some marks on our canvas so that we can evenly line up our ribbon. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to go corner to corner and I'm just going to mark every quarter inch. Then I'm going to take our ribbon and I'm going to cut our ribbons in half. I made the ribbons a little bit longer than they needed to be because we want to have enough um, ribbon on the ends so that we can pull them tight, which you'll see more of what I mean in a second. So I'm just cutting each one of these in half. Now I'm going to lay my ribbons out and I'm going to set, these are quarter inch ribbons and I'm going to make them go a quarter inch apart. And I'm going to start in the middle with my blue and I'm going to go in basically kind of, I'm going to go down in reverse rainbow order. So I'm going to do my blue, then I'm going to skip a space, zoom in a little bit, see if we can't see that better. I'm going to skip a space and then I'm going to do my green. Oops, not there. There. Yellow. Orange. Red. These don't have to be perfectly lined up. We're doing this basically for placement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape now, though, and I'm just going to tape these down. Try and make sure they're evenly spaced. And this tape is obviously a temporary placeholder, so if it's not perfect, that's fine. Not bad, my yellow's a little crooked, but we're, again, temporary placeholder, so we're gonna fix that. I'm also gonna slide my orange down a little bit so that it's more evenly centered. So we want tail on both sides. Then I'm gonna complete, uh, do the same thing going this way and I'm gonna start over again with the red. So it's going red, orange, yellow, green, blue, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Now, what order you put your colors in is entirely up to you. If you have a stash of different color ribbon at home and you want to do different ribbons, you want to do different colors to match your decor, you go right ahead. So again, not perfectly straight at this point in time, not perfectly lined up, but close enough for where we need it to be for our purposes. Now we're going to open up our embroidery hoop by unscrewing the top. 
These are really tight to start with, so you might want to grab a pair of pliers or something to help you with that. And I'm going to lay this on here, and I want to center it as much as possible. And maybe that would be easier to do from the back on the fabric, because I want to make sure I have enough fabric all the way around. So once I put the top of the hoop on, I can pull that tight. Okay, now you see in doing that, some of my things got a little off their path. And that's okay, because we're going to be placing these individually as we go. Um, again, our tape was just kind of a rough placeholder, and now we're gonna get down to the more precision placeholding. So in order to hold these into place properly, we're going to do a simple back stitch about maybe a half inch or so in around the outer edge. So I'm threading my needle. Again, I'm using a full six strands of embroidery floss. And I'm knotting at the end. start right here with the blue. So if you get too close to your hoop, then when it comes time to tie a knot, because you'll probably have to do that, you might need more than one piece of floss, then it gets really tricky to tie the knot if it's right in tight against the hoop. So I'm going to start about here, you know, like about a half out, inch out from the inner hoop. And I'm going to come up right in the middle of my first ribbon. And we're doing back stitching. So we're going to go down to the left of that. And you can go, I'm going to go around clockwise. If you're more comfortable going clockwise, you can. Just all of these things will be a little bit reversed. So I'm going down. So these stitches are going to be a quarter inch or so. And I'm going to come up now between the blue and the green. And back down in the center of the blue there, right next to where I came up. For the first stitch, you don't want to go back down in the same hole because chances are good then your needle will get stuck in your knot and it's just kind of a pain. So now, making sure that my green is nice and flat and taut and spaced the way I want it to be, we're gonna come up in the middle of the green. And go down between the green and the blue. And we're going to keep doing that. We're going to be pulling on our ribbons to make sure that they are nice and tight. Come up between the two. And go down through the ribbon. Always trying to maintain tight tension and maintain that space between your hoop and your stitches. If you wanted to, you could take a pencil and lightly draw a circle around there just to, if that helps you guide your stitches. The size of the stitches starts to get a little different when you get down to these end pieces. But I'm going to pull my orange up here because I don't like this spacing right now. And what you can do is you can pull it up and kind of work it over. And repeat as needed, just sliding it back and forth to snug it in until it's the spacing that you want. We're going to do the same thing, come up in the middle of the ribbon, 
go down in between. Okay, so I'm starting to run into tape here. So I'm just going to lift this up and I'm going to take this tape out of here. And I can do that because these ribbons all have been stitched down now. They've all been stitched down. I saw tape on my finger. They've all been stitched down. And so when I get to this end and I need to pull them as tight as possible, I still have something to pull against. It's time for me to start stitching into the ribbon again. So I'm going to pull this, make sure it's straight the way I want it to be, and pull it as tightly as I can. The tighter your ribbons, the more secure your photos will be when you're done. Okay. I'm getting down to the end of my thread here, so I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot. And this is going to be a little tricky because on that bottom there I did get pretty close to the hoop. Now I'm going to re-thread my needle and keep going. Make sure that I'm pulling these as tightly as I can and as evenly spaced and straight as possible. And you're just going to continue on around this way, making sure that your ribbons are as evenly placed as possible and as straight as possible. Once you have your threads all the way around, then your board is almost completed. You want to make sure, go ahead and tighten it up, make sure that your hoop is as tight as it possibly can be. And you're going to want to do something with the back because you're going to have all these pieces left over here. In this case, I just trimmed it with a good pair of scissors right down to the edge of the hoop. Another option would be to take these edges in and just take some more thread and just do a running stitch around so that all of your threads and everything come in like this. You can also cut a piece of felt to this size and just run a bead of glue along here and glue that on the back. That is a really nice finished look for a hoop. And then you can tuck your photos in. And if you get tired of one, you can switch them out. We would love to see your mini ribbon boards. Um, share them with us on social media. And we'd like to thank the Bettendorf Public Library Foundation and Quad City Bank and Trust for sponsoring this take-home workshop.